Chagrin River Watershed Partners was granted funding from the US EPA National Community Decentralized Demonstration Project in 2006 to assist members in implementing innovative stormwater management techniques in the Chagrin Watershed and Northeast Ohio. I'm Craig Course, I'm the landscape architect, and uh, I was responsible for um, what we're gonna talk about, which is the uh, site sustainability. And one of the reasons we did this was that we needed new office space. So along those premises, we decided let's do something site-wise that really exemplifies um, what a landscape architect can do. And that meant incorporating the permeable pavers, rain gardens, bioswale, and biodetention. We were able to demonstrate what can be done, then our clients, which are a lot of developers and builders, could follow right along then and know that this is practical, feasible, and um, I'll say even financially feasible. We go into a section that's 20 or 22 Tw inches 22 deep. inches of a number 57, of a number 57 stone, stone, which is just a little, little bigger. That was compacted, uh, and then the whole process. Uh, there's sub-drainage under here, uh, not a lot of it, but kind of a spine coming down through here with a couple fingers off it. The paver that's down uh, is a unilock permeable paver, one of ours, called eco -Opulock. Uh The whole concept behind it is to provide an a interlock, uh, interlocking flexible pavement that allows water to permeate through the surface. And then that water is treated, cooled, cleaned uh, by running it through a series of different layers of aggregate stone. So in this project, we've got a number eight uh, aggregate, which is in the void, and then a setting bed underneath the paver that's about two inches thick of that number eight stone. It's got to be angular, so it locks up in the void. It provides a very stable uh, walking surface. <clears throat> and then the, uh, the setting bed below it basically is screeded off in a two inch thick layer to accept the pavers. That's where we get, where most long term studies show, that's where most of the organic uh, media is filtered out from, from the stormwater. The bioswale was a real important part of this whole um, site project. It acts as the filter for the storm water that is trapped within the permeable pavement. In other words, it infiltrates into the permeable pavement. It's stored there for almost 11 to 12 hours and then we have an outlet uh, that goes into the bioswale. That bioswale then is uh, kind of a windy, curvy type of swale, not your normal engineered straight swale with uh, rock riffles in it, a um, foot and a half of biosoil mix, and uh, numerous native plants and uh, ground covers. And we've also used what we call a no-mow mix, a native mix of fescues. And uh, it functions by absorbing that water and filtering it before it ever gets to the biodetention area.